So over the past few months, many people have been saying that 2024 is going to be a much better year than 2023. Some are even going as far as saying 2025 will be the best year ever. Now, why would they say this and why am I here to give you a warning? Well, it's for one main reason. The reason for this warning is simple. You are about to experience a shock of a lifetime. This is going to happen very soon. This will happen in 2024. So those that were saying 2024 could be an even better year than 2023, well, it might not happen yet. And I want to explain why in just a moment. All I ask is one thing, takes two seconds. Go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So what is going to happen in 2024 that didn't happen in 2023, didn't happen in 2022, and actually has not happened since before 2008? Well, it has to do with your finances, has to do with credit cards, has to do with debt, auto loans, bank fees, things like that. This is all coming back to the American people. And now what we're about to face is complete catastrophe according to many experts. Here's why. Based on multiple reports over the past few weeks, Americans are in a shock of their lifetime. They say, we are seeing similar financial trends from the pre-2008 financial collapse, such as higher delinquency rates in autos and credit cards. All we're waiting on now is something to happen with the housing market, and it's slowly starting to unfold. So, what can you expect moving forward? Well, just know this. Credit card debt has reached its highest level in the United States ever. We are over a trillion dollars in just credit card debt, and this is turning into a massive problem. But look at this. It says Americans, um, they miss credit card payments. They're up in 49 out of 50 U.S. states, as Grimm study shows where inflation and high interest rates have wrecked most havoc. Keep in mind, 49 out of 50 states are seeing their credit card payments being missed. These are going up. This is happening. This is just credit card payments. This isn't auto loans. This isn't rents. These are just credit card payments. And I want to show you something else because this is not a, considered a credit card payment, but it's turning into an issue. It says, the buy now, pay later holiday debt hangover has arrived as consumers wonder how they'll pay bills. Here's why. Over the course of uh, the holiday season for 2023, which was over a month ago, many people use the buy now, pay later system, which you buy now, and then over the course of usually six weeks or sometimes a little bit longer, you make these little payments, three equal payments, okay? The problem is, for some spending, you would buy something and then you would be uh, liable for that, you'd be held accountable for that, that payment. But many, uh, many of these payment uh, companies gave you a one month grace period. You didn't have to make a payment for one month. So guess what? That one month is over. Now you gotta make these payments and US consumers are wondering, well, how in the world am I gonna make a payment? Because I am behind everywhere. Just let me, let me explain how much people are behind and why 2024 is going to be a difficult year. Listen to these numbers. At the end of 2021, 39% of credit card holders carried a debt from month to month. Okay, 39% of them. That was the end of 2021. What happened in 2021 though? We were getting stimulus checks. That was a big one. We had this, uh, the child tax credit payments that happened as well, where many families are getting $250 to $300 per month per child. That was for the last six months of the year. That helped with credit card debt. Well, in the middle of 2023, uh, the amount of people that carry debt uh, from month to month, this jumped to 47%. Currently in 2024, we are roughly at 52% of people carry a balance from month to month. 52%, which means you have to pay a credit card payment. Now, 
whether you have a credit card or not, doesn't matter. This is going to impact every single one of us. Every single one. Now, according to a recent report, 61% of Americans are in credit card debt. 61% with an average debt being over $6,000 okay, per debt holder. This is 23% of Americans say they have to go deeper and deeper into debt every single month just to pay their bills. And here's a staggering number, 14% say they miss payments each month in order to pay other bills. This is turning to an issue because now we're seeing people miss credit card payments to make a mortgage payment, which I would probably do the same thing. But they're missing credit card payments to miss, uh, or missing that payment to pay an auto loan. They're missing auto loan payments to pay medical bills, right? We're seeing them uh, miss, and which you can, student loan payments. You don't have to pay that because you're using that money to pay for medical bills, for credit card debt, for your auto loan, for your Netflix subscription. This is what's happening. So, with all these payments missed, here's what's about to happen. And this is where some say 2024, Americans will be in for a financial shock because here's what's gonna happen with missed payments, defaulted accounts, and high borrowing. We are about to see banks close accounts for absolutely no reason. We already saw this earlier in 2023. It will happen again in 2024. They say creditors will, lose, will lower your spending limit and without notification. You got a $10,000 limit, but you're only spending about $4,000. Nope, no worry. We're gonna bring your, your account down to about $5,000. So now your credit utilization, instead of it being at 40%, because you were at $4,000 compared to a $10,000 maximum spending limit, you only utilize 40%. No, now we're gonna bring it all the way down to 5,000 as your spending limit. So now it says you have an 80% credit utilization rate. That's not good for your credit score, right? They also say interest payments are gonna go up and the American people are going to be put into a somewhat of a financial bind because if you are using credit to make payments, to buy food, to pay for your subscription services. Guess what? That time may be over. Now, what are we doing about this? What is gonna happen? Well, here's what we know at this time. According to multiple reports, the Biden administration plans to slash overdraft fees at big banks. President Biden says, I call it exploitation. Now, we were just talking about credit card debt, not big banks. Well, here's the thing. Big banks do, uh, well, they, they kill you with overdraft fees for many low income households. Well, here's what's gonna happen. The reason why the Biden administration is looking at doing this is to provide more disposable income to lower income families, lower income households, because those are the ones that are being impacted the most. So the Biden administration can't just give you a stimulus check and say, here you go. Here's another $600, here's another $1,400 for you to use any way you want to. The Biden administration can't do that, but what they can do is they can go after these overdraft fees, which President Biden calls junk fees. We can go after all these things and we can stop them. We can reduce the fee, which would put more money back into your pocket. So there is something that's happening. Another thing that is happening at this time is there's a bipartisan bill that is currently going through um, you know, the, the different uh, route to, to become a bill, but it would actually give you an enhanced child tax credit. There's also business deductions in there as well. So what we do know is that there is some stuff happening behind the scenes that could potentially put more money into your pocket. The problem is we have too much debt. So where do we go from here? Well, we have to wait on the current administration to see what they do pass. We have to wait on Congress to see what they are willing to pass. And then we have to hold this debt so that, you know, because the troubling part is how do you pay it off? How do you pay off all this debt? How do you pay off $6,000 in debt? Most people don't have $6,000 in a savings account. They just can't do it. 
So that's part of the problem. But I just wanted to fill you in on this because one of the things that we continue to hear over the past few weeks is that 2024 will be a very difficult year. A lot of it has to do with all the, the issues happening at the southern border, over in Ukraine, over in Gaza, now with Iran and all these uh, attacks on you know ships and, and everything in between. So yes, there's a lot of issues happening around the world and here in the United States, but some say it's all going to come down to your financial situation. How are you going to make it through this? Do you have the ability to withstand this? Some say they do, others say they don't. So we'll see what happens moving forward. All I can tell you is I will be here every step of the way. I will fill you in on all the latest news and updates. That is what we know as of today. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing. I'll see you guys on the next 